So assalamu alaikum dear students. Uh, today we will talk about uh, and we practically demonstrate here that how we can calculate the BMI, the body mass index uh, in the species. Uh, for the SP, uh, BMI in a species, we need the two variables and the data two variables we should have already in our species. And that is the height in meters and the weight in kgs. And to calculate now BMI, uh, we click on the transform. And in the transform, you will click on the compute variable. Here we will re rename the target variable like uh, we will you can click as the BMI. We can put the label name as the body mass index and the students, for example. For the calculation, we will bring the, as we know from the formula, that equation is k weight in kgs divided by height in meter square. So that is weight in kg then divided by after that we will put that parenthesis and we will click on height square we can write the height square like uh, height in meter multiplied by height in meter so height in meter we will put it here and then multiplied by height in meter so that is like uh, the bmi is now with the, that about the tier, uh, formula that is weight in kg divided by height square. And then we will click on OK. So we have the BMI, the new variable here. And this is the label, the body, um, body mass index of the students. And now we will check that either if it is calculated uh, on the data view. So this is actually the BMI, which is automatically calculated uh, through the spaces. So we have 13, 13, 15, and so on. That was all about how to calculate the BMI. Now the point is how we can convert uh, this BMI, which is in the continuous form into a categorical form. So there are two methods uh, we can convert this continuous form of BMI into categorical. It depends on what we want or purpose that sometimes we want the correlation for which we need the continuous variable, but sometimes if we are going to Check, assess the relationship, the situation between two categorical variables, then obviously uh, we need the BMI in a categorical form. So if we have in the uh, continuous form, we can easily convert into the categorical form, but from the categorical form, we can't uh, go come back to all the continuous form. So for that, uh, we click on transform. Now there are two methods in this spaces, record into semi variables, record in uh, record into different variables. I always recommend record into different variables. Uh, what is the reason? Um, first of all, before going to the reason, we will discuss the difference between these two methods: record into semi variables and record into different variables. What is the difference? When we click on record into uh, same variables and we calculate it, we uh, have the categorical form that will replace the continuous form. It means the continuous form, which is that BMI, that would be replaced by a categorical form if we click on the record into same variable. If we click on and go through the record into different variables, then we will have both of them, the continuous form and as well as the categorical form. Now, why uh, I recommend to my students, uh, why I always use into different variables. The reason is that from the BMI, uh, we can calculate the outliers from the, from the continuous form. 
we can calculate the mean, we can calculate the standard deviation, we can calculate as well as the maximum and minimum as well as the median and mode. But we can't calculate all these things from the categorical form. So uh, we can have some need of the continuous form. So we should also uh, leave it in its own place. So that's why we click on to report into different variables. So we will put uh, the, the body mass index into the action box. And we can see here that the body mass index that is that have that have a question mark in front of it. This question mark means that still uh, we don't have named the next variable which have to be categorical variable. So uh, we can we can rename that we can give name to the that new variable uh, like B N I underscore we will write is categorical yeah simple cat okay. uh, just leave the label and we can click on the change now to convert it through from that continuous into categorical we will click on the or and new variables according to who classification uh, the bmi can be categorized as into the underweight normal weight, you know, we can say normal range, the lower weight and then the obese. And then we can also further subclassify the, uh, subclassify the ob obesity, which is obese class one, obesity class two and obesity class three. So uh, according to that classification, we know that when the BMI is less than 18.5, any value, which is if it is less than 18.5, it will be Considered as the person will be considered as underweight. So for that, you will click on the range to which to it means that any video which is less than 18.5 that will be equal to the underweight, and we will give underweight as one. So we will give that one. Uh, this is the 18.5 or less than 18.5, and we will click on add. Then we will click on the range. Uh, if the BMI is between 18.5 to 24, uh, we can click on the 18.5 one. And if it is uh, um, 24.9. So if the BMI is between 18.51 and 24.9, then it will be in the normal range and we will give the value of two to the normal range. Then we know that if the BMI is 25, between 25 and 29.9, that will be, uh, we can consider that person as your rate and we will uh, give the value of three to this one. Then another range we can have it if it is um, more than thirty, so we can call as obesity. The person is obese, uh, and if we can uh, further classify it into the different classes. So in the first class we can say that if it is between thirty and thirty four point nine, this is the class one obesity. And if it is between the 35 and 39.9, then it is the class two obesity. And if it is more than 40, it will be as the class three obesity. But here we will consider all these classes into a single class that is obesity. And if uh, any value, if it is uh, 30 or more than 30, 30 or uh, more than 30 range value through highest mean key any value which is 30 or uh, more than 30 will be equal to uh, the obesity and we will give the value of 4 to the obesity. So we have four categories that is being uh, coded with 1, 2, 3, 4. We click on continue and here we can cut uh, as the 
BMI are students in categorical form. And we will click on OK. Now, if we can see here, there is 1.00, 1.00. Now, why are there are two decimal? Because uh, we have not changed it from the uh, two decimal to zero, so we will change it uh, in the variable view. We can also check here the sign, the logo has been changed. It is scale variable, the, it is a, a numerical, a continuous variable, and it is a nominal variable, so it has been, uh, sign and logo has been also changed for the BMI category. So we will click on the variable view, and uh, from here we will change it to zero decimal. It will be kept as numeric, no problem. And we will then give the those values which we put uh, previously during the calculation, during the conversion from continuous to the categoric. Uh, here we uh, we have already given one to the underweight. We will add them. Then uh, we have given two to the normal. And we can call it normal range. And then three was for overweight. And then four was for obese. We can carry the obesity uh, of, of any class and then we click on OK. You can check here. So, that student was uh, that was underweight, underweight. Uh, the results overweight, uh, some are in the normal range. So, all, all of them they have been uh, term in the that range of. Normal range, underweight, uh, overweight, are uh, obese. Now, uh, if we can calculate, I want to calculate so then we will check and, and how many of them are in the underweight, how many are in the uh, normal range. So we we'll click analyze, then descriptive reference. No need for that, and we will bring the Categorical form into the option box. In chart, we will click on the bar chart. Okay, we have, as already by default, click on the display frequency table. So we will reverse like this one and we will click on OK. So now uh, the total. We have one missing as well. It means there was a data missing in it. So just uh, forget about that. To so suppose we have total 375 participants, and among them, 11 were obese, 18 were overweight, and 90 were normal range, and uh, 256 were underweight. And we can also have the girl. So it means the most of the participant they were underweight. Uh, we can also put different parameters on it. So like here, we can count all the ESD. Uh, we can click on the percentage and we can not so. So we can it's, we click on the apply and then up close. And now we have, we can also change the boxes, the color of the each box. So if you want to change this one into a red one, suppose that will be red. Change this one into the green. And we can, if you want to change this one into red blue. And the other will be light blue. So uh, we can see here there is a yellow line. So it means the box, uh, surrounding and the surrounding of it here is this yellow line will be 
uh, selected for that action which we are given the command. So you can click on that, and now we have that the bar chart of the um, BMI of the students in categorical form. If we have any problem with this uh, in categorical form, you can also click on that and we can uh, change it. Simple, we can uh, like here, it will be like a BMI of students. Now the BMI and students. Similarly, you can also change the BMI critical form into simple the BMI of students. But that was all about how we can calculate the BMI uh, in the species if we have already the weight and height, and then how we can categorize uh, the continuous BMI into different categories of underweight, lower weight, normal range, and obese. Thank you so much.